And here I am, as you can see, on my back porch. And because this is the very first home edition of Zoo Tots. We're going to have a lot of fun today, and we're going to learn about animals, and it's going to be terrific. So everybody get ready now. Let's see. It's April. And in April, people think about things like April showers, rain, rain, go away, the itsy bitsy spider, gotta wash the dogs out. We're going to be thinking a lot about rain things. And you can have a lot of fun on an April rainy day. This is what my friend John told me that he did. See if you can do it right along with me. John had great big waterproof boots on. John had a great big waterproof hat. John had great big waterproof coat on. And that, said John, is that. Very, very good. Well, let's see. In the wonderful world of make-believe, we're all dressed up to go outside on a rainy day in April. Can you jump straight up? Jump! Very good. Can you jump three times? Jump, jump, jump. Even better. Okay, here we go. We're going to go jumping in the puddles. A jump, jump, jump in the puddles when the rain goes pittery pat. A jump, jump, jump in the puddles and we'll put on a coat and a hat. Then we open our umbrellas and pull on our boots with a tug. Then when we jump, jump, jump in the puddles, wear a snug as a bug in a rug. Very, very good. Now, don't go away, because we're going to get ready for part two. Have a good day. Hi, Zoo Tots. This is Jen from Connecticut's Beardsley Zoo. I'm here in our research station today, and I'm going to introduce you one of our amazing animal ambassadors, Chunk. Chunk is one of our tiger salamanders. Now you can tell this because he has nice black stripes that run all the way down his body. Some of Chunk's favorite things to do here at the zoo are either swim in his pool, or he can come up on land and get some heat from his heat lamp, or hide under rocks. Tiger salamanders are amphibians, and what that means is they are in the same family as frogs. And just like frogs, tiger salamanders like to live in a habitat that's nice and wet. This means that they can be found in places like streams, lakes, or bogs. Now we're going to do the crafts or activity part of April Tots. Now what we're going to do is a nature scavenger hunt, and for this you're going to need an egg carton and you're going to first have to go out and find the stuff yourself so that you know that your top can find certain things. Now I live near the beach and so I found things like shells and pieces of driftwood and then I did some uh, scavenger hunting in my yard and I found some bits of flowers and uh, pieces of leaves, whatever you find that you think your tot would be interested to find. Um, I tried to get some different textures and colors so that it was kind of colorful. Um, so this way, when you have all your stuff that you found, and I had way more than I needed, so when you have your stuff, you're going to bring it home, and then you're going to take a picture on it. You're going to take a piece of white paper, you're going to put one thing at a time on the paper and take a picture of it. Then, depending upon your capabilities, um, you can put your pictures in a Word document, whatever other software you have, label them, right way, label them, and then you're going to put that in the cover of your egg cart. Now, if you don't have a printer, if you don't have those capability, keep the pictures on your phone, because then it'll be fun. You can show your toddler here, let's try and find this, or let's try and find this. And as you're going out and about, you're going to find your things, and you're going to put them in 
your egg carton. This is my finished product. So this is my top and this is the little things I found, seaweed and shells and all sorts of cool stuff. And then you're going to bring it home and you can talk about what you found and you can do more research, especially if you have older siblings, they can do more research on it. And it really is a fun activity, it gets them outside, they do a little searching. Um, you can even talk about the things that you don't pick up. It's a great learning experience. You're outside, you're moving, there's some tactile experience. So I hope you have real, a fun time with this April Tots activity. Hopefully we'll see you at the zoo as soon as possible and have a great April.